The other thing to think about is why do we call it the system instead of the limbic part or right or limbic structure? It's because all these structures in the middle we'll talk about interact with each other to create some sort of behavioral output, right? So for example, think about this visually. You have all this sensory information, we'll call this sensory input, coming into the brain, okay? What is this? Sights and sounds and smells, right? And your body's got to do something with it. Well, it's kind of like a pinball machine. All these parts of the limbic system talk to each other, right? So if I hear this sound, this structure is going to talk to this structure and say, hey, based on this sound, I think this should happen. And then this structure talks to this structure and so on and so on. So you create this giant system of interconnected uh, parts that talk to each other that creates some sort of what? creates some sort of output, right? Which could be behavioral, right? Some sort of action you do based on the sensory information that comes in. It could be an emotional output like laughing or crying.